hardly believe it. Have you gone completely out of your mind? What on earth do you think you were doing? We were just talking. I didn't mean anything by it. Marriage? I mean, for heaven's sake, we've never discussed anything of the sort. I know that, but I didn't actually say And it. here you are announcing merrily to the world that we're going to skip down the aisle any minute. They kept going on at me. I only said it was an option. Swanning off to Timbuktu is an option. Joining a three-ring circus is an option, and either of them far more likely, if you must know. Eric, I'm sorry. About what? About embarrassing me in front of everyone? About taking our relationship totally and utterly for granted? No. I'm sorry for making such a stupid mistake, but be assured, it'll never happen again. Gosh, I'd hope not. I can promise you that. Shorter. It's the oldest trick in the book, trying to corner you into it. I'm surprised you didn't have the ring. Quite. Well done, Eric. Handled with your usual tact and diplomacy. What on earth do you think you lot are looking at? Why can't you mind your own business for once in your dull little lives? Scotch. Large. Very. Gloria. Gloria, wait. I'm all right, actually. You've every right to be upset. Really, I'm fine. He can be incredibly callous at times, can't he? No, it's not his fault. But to do that to you in public, it's unforgivable. No, what is unforgivable is for a woman of my age to allow herself to be so completely wrong about everything. Is he off? <sighs> Nearly. Isn't he lovely? Yeah, I know, he's quiet. That makes you, you know, think of it, doesn't it? About what? Have you ever imagined being a dad? Oh, <laughs> no. And definitely not now. Well, you didn't cry all night. Anyway, you must want to one day. People shouldn't be allowed to get married or have children before the age of 30. Don't <laughs> be ridiculous. I'm being serious. Too many people ruin their lives by settling down too early. You should live your own life first. Yeah, well, that's all very interesting, Scott. Take it you're not that serious about me, then. Oh, well, no, I didn't say that, did I? I mean, we're different, aren't we? Hello, hello. How's it been? Good as gold. You're back early, thank God. Blimey. Never settles like that for me. Yeah, well, he's worn himself out crying all night. Oh, it was only for five minutes. He's been fine. <laughs> oh, come here, little Kirky. Oh, come he was on. nearly sleeping then. Oh. Oh, come on, Kirk, I think you could do a changing. Yeah, well, uh, we weren't sure, you know. If, um... I'll do it. No, it's all right. I'll uh, just use your bathroom. Come on, hmm? darling. How was your night? Yeah, really good. We spent all night talking about him. <laughs> You and Letitia seem to be getting quite close. Do we? I just kind of feel responsible, you know, having delivered him. <laughs> no, we're just mates. Oh. Make a good dad, wouldn't he, Scott? Very attractive quality. Yeah? Come on, we deserve a drink. Yeah, listen, thanks, guys. Night. So I wound my window down and I said to him, I think he was a sergeant, I said, listen, pal, have you any idea who I'm married to? Sean, tell me you're making this up. No. <laughs> oh, oh, hilarious. Come on, I'll wash you too, Charlie. Hiya. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, sorry, I'm late. I'm starving. Well, I wanted to wait for you, but you know what the girls are like. Mm. It's in the oven. Where is it? No one really knows, cos Dad made it. <laughs> Did it? Oh, well, actually, I've just had a sandwich. Hey, cheeky bugger. You'll eat it now, anyway. <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, me and Mike are going to go out tonight, you know, so you two can catch up. They don't have to. You know what I'd really like? The four of us to stop in together. I don't know, play a game, watch telly, anything. Yeah, right. A game? As long as you understand that this is a one-off, right? Hiya. Hiya, son. How did it go with your hot date? Come here. Oh. This is Jack, my dad, Katie. Hiya. Hi. Um, can I choose your bathroom? It's upstairs on the right. She's, uh, <laughs> very nice. Dad, she's just a friend. And if you have to hang around, 
Try not to say anything. You always think you can change someone, don't you? Yes, I suppose you do. No matter what you're hearing about them, you see something that's worth a bit of time and effort, something everyone else has missed. I thought all he needed now was me. I'm sure once he's had time to think it over. He's had all the time in the world. He wanted everything on his terms. I was stupid to think I could change him. And that lot over there, they'll all be thinking I told you so. I'm sure they won't. I'd like to be on my own now, if you don't mind. I'm happy to stay if you'd rather. You needn't worry about me, Ashley. I've made a fool of myself once too often, too. I won't be going back down that road. What will you be doing, do you think? That's what I need to decide now. Gloria, I know that, despite his faults, all of them, Eric is terribly fond of you. Fond? Yes, thank you, Ashley. You know where I am. Perhaps we'll talk tomorrow. Ashley? Bernice is a very lucky woman. Good night, Gloria. What does he expect if he could do that to her in public? I mean, in his situation, Paddy, what would you have done? I don't know. I I've never had anyone try and railroad me into marriage. You'd have humoured her, that's what, whoever she was. Then you'd have got her home and told her where to get off. That's no way to treat someone you care about. Don't look too pleased with himself. Let him stew. Good mind to bar him. When you're ready, love. Yes, Ben. You're right. Overreacted, didn't I? Yeah, you did. In fact, you were needlessly cruel. Can't help myself sometimes. I should try a bit harder. I suppose I felt a little trapped and panicked. It was a shock, really. I suppose I'll get it in the neck when I get home. <laughs> Unless you get your heartfelt apology in there first. I'm a complete care, don't I? <laughs> and you wonder why none of your relationships work out. I don't want to lose her, Paddy. Well, it's no good telling that to me, is it? I sometimes find it hard to convey my innermost feelings to... Or to anyone. Well, that might be a good time to learn, then, eh? Hmm. She likes you. Uh, might you consider going round and possibly... It, it, no. Uh, no. No. Uh, perhaps another drink. Eric. Do you care for Glory? We get on. <laughs> Not in common. <laughs> Plenty to talk about. But do you... Well, <laughs> yeah, you have now. But, uh, do you love her? Never really thought about it. You might never get another chance. Yes. Yes, I suppose I do in my own way, whatever that means. Well, you ought to go and tell her that then, do you not think? That's all right, I will. I will do it. Thank you, Paddy. For the first time in my life, I'm about to win a game. Ollie lands on Park Lane and decides to go and paint her toenails. Oh, and Mark suddenly has pressing business in his bedroom. I think they're just trying to be considerate. She should have paid me the rent first, shouldn't she? I had a hotel on that. See you, Dad, today. He still didn't want to talk about it. Can't really blame him, can you? He's looking better, though. Should be out in a couple of days. They're glad to have you back, you know. The kids. What about you? I think you already know the answer to that. We wasted a lot of time, didn't we? Yep. We've got a lot to make up for, then. Sure. I know. Taking it slowly. Well, they could walk in any minute and I'm not really used to having you around again. It is a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> I got a postcard off charity today. Did you? Mm. 
living it up on the beach, not a care in the world. It's hard to imagine. We always said we'd do that, didn't we? You know, go somewhere really special, once in a lifetime. Then we let the everyday stuff get in the way, never made it, and look what happened. I don't think you can really put that down to missing a couple of weeks in Barbados, though. No, but it'd be a good place to start again. You know, not worry about them coming in. All we'd have to worry about is you and me. Hello, I'd like a taxi, please. For Church Lane. That's right. Uh, to the station. I have to catch the train in an hour. Thank you. Gloria? You here? And there's birthday parties and presents and past the parcel. And then there's school, which is all right, and friends and football. And then things start getting really interesting with girls or whatever. <laughs> and then there's going out and there's clubbing and bands and, oh, God, you're going to have a ball. And then you're a grown-up and it's all downhill, but you don't have to worry about that just yet. So you, young man, have got a lot of things to look forward to, eh? What are you two talking about? Oh. Just man-to-man uh, -man stuff. <laughs> Finally found someone on your level. Mm -hmm. That's the first person who looks interested in what I'm saying, don't you? <laughs> Do you think we ought to be getting your bike? Oh, not yet. I like pretending this is ours. Three of us. Stay a bit longer. <laughs> Now, please, quick as you can. I mustn't miss my train. Thanks very much, Mr Sugden. Tell your dad he can come in if you like. Um, no, it's OK. I best be getting home. Well, I hope we'll be seeing you again. I don't know. See you around, man. I enjoyed today. Did you? Yeah. You'll have to ask me out again sometime. Yeah, I'll ring you. You've got my number. See ya. Betty, I don't suppose Laura's been back, has she? What if she has? I don't think she'd want us telling you. This is important. You don't deserve her, you know. God only knows what she's done to deserve you. Stupid woman. Hey! Are you having a drink? Scotch, please. There you go. I miss him a bit now. Who? Kirk. Oh, you must be joking. Do you not think I'm still deaf in one ear? You're not 
really serious about wanting a kid, are you? Nah. Not right now, anyway. Finish our drinks first, eh? Hey, I like it just being the two of us, eh? For now. So do I. Having a quiet moment, are you? Mind if I join you? No. Oh, it's been quite a night in here. What have you been up to? Baby Sim. For Letitia's kid. That's not like you. Why, well, it took some persuading, I'll tell you. <laughs> You're bringing out a whole new side in him. You'll be thinking of your own next, won't you? What do you want? Where is she? I have no idea. I've just been back to the house and she's not answering the door. Think I've done away with her, do you? I was more worried about what she might have done to herself. Well, gives you something to do, I suppose. I'm sorry? Saving lost souls. A woman like Gloria must be like bread and butter to a man in your line. I do care for her well-being, yes. Meaning I don't, I suppose. I just wanted to check she's all right. Well, you can get worrying about her now. She's left me. Left you? I've just been back to the cottage and found this on the table. I just bought it for her. It's supposed to represent a new beginning for us. I suppose I let her down once too often. I went back with her after you. She was upset, obviously, but she seemed in control. And I thought, well, what if she does try something again? She's very fragile when things go wrong. We should find her. We should go home to our own little wives and worry about them. I can manage, thank you, Vicar. By doing what? By standing here drinking whiskey and feeling sorry for yourself? Just leave me alone. You drove her away, Eric, and you're too self-absorbed to see why. I'm rather tired, if you don't mind. You saw her someone to have in your arm at council functions, someone to run your business. For some inexplicable reason, she seemed to want something more from you. She's had a lucky escape, Eric. I think you should just let her go now, don't you? Mr. Pollard, there you are. What? I've got something to tell you. I'm rather busy for that right now. I'm looking for Gloria. I, I saw her. What? Where? Getting into a taxi. About 20 minutes ago. Heading for the station. Uh, the station? Eric. <laughs> Mr. Pollard, did you... It's good to see you getting out again, Andy. She's welcome here at any time. I see she ever wants to come back. Well, it looks to me like she might. I'm gonna go up now. Oh, you don't have to, it's only early. Yeah, I'm feeling tired. All right, son. Night. Night. Oh, oh. hiya, you all right? Yeah, I was kidding. Who is it? Robert. <laughs> Robert. Oh, no, no, I'm just laughing because I've never seen Andy move so fast. I think he thought it was his new girlfriend. <laughs> How are you, son? Yeah, no, no, everything's fine here. Missing you, though. This would be nice, wouldn't it? What do you mean, would be? I mean, every night. Our own place. Hot baths. Tele. Us three. I must say I could get used to it. You don't think it'll make him poorly, do you? What? The squat, living like we do. Well, there's some things that I want to get sorted before winter. I want to make sure that there's no drafts <laughs> and I want to get some proper heating sorted. <laughs> do you know, you're damn close to being my ideal man. <laughs> close? Well, the one thing every other bloke wants to do to me, you don't. Oh, that. But if we were a couple, I'd be frightened of losing you cos you'd be too good to be true. Then you want some windows replacing. I'm going to see if I can get a new piece of carpet from somewhere for Kirk's room. It's amazing what these people chuck out on these jobs I work on. And then that shower, I'm sure I can get that working again. And then we just need a proper oven and we're away. Hey. Platform 2 will be the 2030 to Leeds. 
next train to arrive at platform two will be police. So what was it then? Well, you should have talked to him. You could have asked him yourself. Well, he asked for you. Well, he didn't sound himself, really. He seemed a bit down. I think he feels he's missing out on what's happening here. I think he wants to come back. Well, he didn't say so. How would you feel? Dunno. I wish you would, Andy. <sighs> Doesn't seem right without him here, does it? Oh, yeah. Last one till tomorrow, mate. Sorry. <laughs> 